okay so moving further uh, we'll understand what is parse do and do fn functions and how to implement that in our code or in our like pipeline which we, uh, the user has created or which you want to create right so what is parse do a parse do transform actually it considers each element in the input p collection p collection you know na, that, uh, what is p collection p collection is the data or the data set so pardu transform considers each element in the input collection then it performs some processing function on that element for example whatever function you want to implement on that collection that can be splitting up that can be calculating the length that can be uh, <coughs> extracting the vowel from that strings and then it emits zero one or multiple elements to an output p collection now how to write a code using pardo and do fn right so let's move further with it okay so now we are going to actually implement the pardo function and do n function in the data flow and also we are going to create a small pipeline and also like creating a p collection so that we can actually have a knowledge of how the code works and how uh, the code will be implemented or pipeline will be created for our like for the application or for the user applications right so first of all what we need to do is if you are a new user then in terminal you need to install apache beam gcp right after installing that we need to import it import apache beam as beam now uh, after installing and importing it as beam we are going to actually create a class of compute word length and after this we are going to define a process for example we are taking a uh, input as element and then we are going to give a output as element name and the length of the element okay okay so what we have created is like this is this is actually the function which we are going to call in our pipeline so that it can be uh, like called and give an output of the length right now we will create a pipeline create uh, now uh, what we need to do is uh, our first main thing comes creating a pipeline for creating a pipeline we need to write with beam dot pipeline as pipeline as pipe pipeline words is equals to pipeline create words beam dot create beam dot create now let's uh, take apple as a string or banana or guava right so the uh, what we are uh, here we have created a pipeline right and uh, this is the p collection we, uh, uh, with this line we have created a pipeline and with this uh, like words uh, uh, this in this variable we have actually taken uh, this list or we can say that this uh, variable is actually containing this list and this is the actual syntax for creating a p collection now after doing this we are going to implement pardo like uh, pardo function so, uh, for that what we are going to do is we are going to uh, like create a variable word length and with words 
uh, we are going to use word length beam dot par do and uh, we are going to call this class naming com compute word length right right uh, also uh, you need to like make sure of this that uh, whenever we use pardo for calling a class we also use beam dot do fn implementing pardo without using do fn makes no sense so uh, be careful using do fn function whenever you use pardo for calling a class right so after this what we need to do is we are going to to print right so word length where we, uh, word length where we where we have actually stored the value we will going to print results now for su uh, successful uh, running or for calling the main function we are going to use this hmm so we have uh, called this run pipeline and we have also printed this this is the p collection this is for implementing par2 let's commit it out, comment it out and this is for like printing the results okay so let's run this okay so uh, here you can see that uh, the output is apple comma 5 banana comma 6 guava comma 5 which actually means that apple right apple uh, string contains five letters and the output is the length of uh, the apple string right banana is containing six letters so it's giving six guava contains five letters so it is containing five in the previous uh, output also you can see which i was like trying at that moment of time also you can see the same results which is correct so this is this was the small tutorial of how we can create a small pipeline how actually p collection works and how pardo function and do fn function works and how to write code out of it